We are being asked to find the mean, the median, and the mode for a set of data. In this example, I have lab report grades from two different groups of students. Group 1 has these grades, group 2 has these grades. In each case, I am finding the mean x-bar, the mode, and the median for the group. For the first group, let's do the mean. The mean is equal to the total over n, the sample size. The total of all of these grades, if I add them up, is 67. And there are 9 grades in the group. And 67 divided by 9 gives me 7.44. That's if I round it to the nearest hundredth. The mean is 7.44 for group 1. The mode of group 1 is the value that occurs the most often. And if we look at this data, we can see that the value 7 appears three times, which is more than any other number, so the mode is 7. Now we have to find the median. To find the median, the first thing I want to do is to reorder the data from smallest to largest. So I end up writing 3, 6, then 3 7s, 8, 9, 10, then I apply this median formula, n plus 1 over 2. n is the sample size, which is 9, so n plus 1 over 2 is 9 plus 1 over 2. It's equal to 10 over 2, which is 5. But that doesn't mean that the median is 5. It means the median is the fifth value, if you read through the distribution, but only when it is ranked from smallest to largest or from largest to smallest. The fifth value I get, counting from either end, is this 7. So the median is 7. Now let's find the mean, the mode, and the median of the data for the second group. The mean x-bar is equal to the total of all of the grades over the n, the sample size, the number of grades. The total of all these numbers is 60, and the sample size this time is 10. 60 divided by 10 is 6, so our mean, the average grade for the students in this group, is 6. The mode, in this case, we have two 7s and we have two 8s, and we don't have any other mark that appears more often than twice. So we have two modes this time. Our mode is 7 and 8, and that means that this distribution is what we call bimodal. Now the median. Again, I want to reorder all of the grades from lowest to highest. So we have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 7s, 2 8s, and a 10. n plus 1 over 2, because the sample size is 10 this time, is 10 plus 1 over 2, which is 11 over 2, which is 5.5. And again, this does not mean that our median is 5.5. Because we have an even number of grades in this data distribution, the middle position is not occupied by a single mark. What we have to do is find the two middle marks and average them. This is telling us that we are averaging the fifth and the sixth marks in order to get our median. And the fifth and sixth marks in this case are this six and this seven. So we do six plus seven, over 2, which gives us 6.5. <coughs> Our median is 6.5. This is how we find the mean, the mode, and the median for a group of values in a data distribution.